It's uh, seven o'clock in Cannes, which for the French Riviera is quite early. And uh, why so early? Because actually now we're witnessing a very important step for sustainable yachting. Because basically uh, it has never been done before that uh, they refueled a yacht with hydrogen in a port. And um, so there's kind of uh, new safety regulations and, and they're pushing the boundary for those uh, safety regulations and, and that's what we're witnessing right now so we must walk around a bit in the security and they're all a bit nervous so let's go and see this is now a high security zone so uh, let's see okay guys come with me yeah, so this is the uh, fuel nozzle for the hydrogen. This is where all the pressure goes through. And uh, how many bar it is normally? 350 bar. 350 bar of pressure going through this. Uh, so let's see how uh, Chloe is actually filling up. Come a bit closer. So let's take a look. Well, that's it, that's simple. So now we're just going out of port and you just hear a soft noise of the electric propulsion and the water that goes away, the wake of the boat. It's amazing. And then actually suddenly you, you smell like, oh, there's an exhaust smell, but that's not from this boat, of course. It's just from the other boats kind of maneuvering around you. So it's, it's very weird because you think, oh, and then you realize, no, it's, it's actually just nothing. It's, not it's me. producing water. So tell me, what's going on here? It's a normal boat with uh, a steering wheel. You have the levers for the engine, for the acceleration, for the, for the RPMs. And then the only difference is basically this uh, REX H2 display that shows you the pressure of the hydrogen and things like that. Yeah, we just have all the data here yeah. uh, with the hydrogen level and also the battery levels. Uh, so on the, this first boat, uh, we have so many data because we collect the data. It's yeah. really important in the first one. In the next one, we're gonna have something more uh, user friendly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. user not, friendly. Not like scientific but this as one, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really technology, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but it's yeah. normal for the first one. Of course. So you can see the level of hydrogen and the level of the battery here. And um, now we're at uh, how many percent? Ninety-seven percent, or yeah, of the batteries here. Yeah. And in hydrogen, we're at forty-four. Okay. It's nearly a year since we've seen each other last time because it was in the September 2020 when you put the boat in the Yacht Club of Monaco, right? And the Prince of Monaco showed up and it was all an exciting event. And then a lot of things happened since then. So what, what, what were your challenges uh, up to today? Actually, I have many challenges every day here uh, yeah. with the Hainova. Uh, but the biggest one is for refueling, uh, but we did it. And I think that we showed that it's possible to do it and uh, a new generation boats are coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, and we're on the yacht right now, on the boat. It's fueled by hydrogen. We can't hear anything. And the byproduct, the exhaust is just water. That's it. So it's, it's, I think it's pretty amazing. And I think I, I really want to say that I have so much respect for you because this is a project also close to my heart. And we need pioneers like you pushing uh, the boundaries, pushing the limits. So uh, yeah, I'm, I'm honored also to be part of this, uh, a little part of this uh, project. So very happy that actually we're with resorting, uh, trying to help for distribution in, in, uh, in Switzerland. Tell me more about the maximum range, the speed, uh, what's going on here? Yes, so the maximum speed is 25 knots. Wow, 25 knots, that's impressive. Yeah, it is. Uh, and then the range, it's really depending the speed. So in 12 knots, you know, we are full hydrogen powered. Yeah. So in 12 knots, we have like 10 or 12 hours range. But oh, wow. then at 25 knots, we have like 40 minutes uh, range. But then the boat don't stop just need to go back at 12 knots or you can stop the boat and use your fuel cell as a supercharger you know yeah. 
to charge the batteries. Yeah, yeah to of charge course. The and then you have the boost in, again. In a, yeah. yeah, and in an hour you have full in battery, so and you, and then can, you can go get 40 back, minutes yeah. again at top speed. Yeah. Wow, that's impressive. Third time you can do that. Three times, yeah. Three wow. times. So that leads me to the next question: When can you actually buy it? You can buy it uh, from September. So uh, in the Can Yachting Festival, we're going to launch the Seri version. Wow. Uh, so we're going to have the final design and final uh, range and stuff. So it's going to be amazing. So that's when I can take uh, starting taking deposits. Yeah, sure. Great. Okay, <laughs> let's do it. I'm waiting for you. <laughs> okay, good. Yeah, because for the Swiss lakes, I mean, imagine uh, you go out uh, and uh, you can even water ski, right? For 40 minutes yeah, sure. at 25 knots, I mean, perfect. 25 knots, if you water ski at 25 knots, it's going to be dangerous, Yeah. actually. So that's like even 15. too fast. 15. Yeah, 15, yeah. it's enough. I, I remember I when I was in Zurich, I, I lived like uh, five years in Zurich, and we always did the wake surfing. So we put some ballast in, yeah. in, in the boat and then creating a wake and, and surfing behind we it. We can yeah, do that, that with this nice. boat. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> But it's with amazing. no smell. Yeah, uh, no. that was always so annoying because you always had the exhaust blowing yeah, right at your face. Yeah, yeah, that's because you were really close to the boat. So uh, yeah. it's many exciting things. Uh, yeah, and um, so where do you take your motivation from? I mean, I'm an entrepreneur as well, but I mean, you must have so many challenges on top, like pushing the limits for the regulations and all this. I, I really I admire you how you where you get your energy and, and how you get up every day and let's crunch them and <laughs> let's go forward. So I take it. I think in my heart also, uh, I, I don't want to stay like that and waiting for maybe a better world. Yeah. So I think I can do something to yeah. have a better world for tomorrow. So I'm doing this. Yeah, I you, mean, you just do I'm it. in the yeah. action, you know, yeah. for yeah. me it's really important. So the motivation, it's and also in people. Yeah. The, collective it's a it's an adventure you are when you are pioneer uh, you need to have a team with you yeah. so we have a team with a uh, passionate people as you yeah but and other people so that's why it's possible right now yeah it's a collaborative mindset it's yeah. not a lone wolf approach no uh, it's yeah. not possible yeah only with me uh, yeah. There is nothing. And actually, the whole story started because you were driving. I mean, you and your family. The business is uh, basically driving boats into the Calangs, a natural yeah. reserve in Marseille. Yeah. And and you wanted to to show and continue to protect that reserve and show it how nice it is, how beautiful nature is. And and now it's basically not allowed anymore to go in with uh, petrol uh, uh, fossil fuel boats, right? Yeah. And standard electric boats were just not enough for the range because you need to go in the day and then you can't charge and go back. So that's basically how it started. It, right yeah completely it's completely the story and when I think that when you decided to make uh, a, your job uh, around the water it's also your mission yeah. uh, to preserve its environment the so beauty, that, yeah. yeah the beauty uh, the ecosystem the biodiversity so that's why for me it's almost logical that uh, as a as a captain that's my role yeah. you know yeah yeah. I had to do it. Yeah. So, and now it's my mission. <laughs> Great. It's such a pleasure and honor to be here. Thank you very much. Thank and you. I hope uh, yeah, you enjoyed the video and stay tuned for uh, the next part. This is part two and there will be a link in the video. You can click uh, to see uh, part uh, one filmed uh, in Monaco. So I'm really excited. And now let's uh, take off and, and uh, <laughs> enjoy the silence on the sea. It's, it's really amazing. It's, a, it's such a beautiful uh, experience. That's all you hear. See you on the on the Seri Free in September. In Cannes. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. We speak yachting. Let's talk.